there's some magic in that. So when Mike and I sat down, we were talking about like a nature series bait. We are talking about creature baits, flipping and pitching. And we both sat down and we we're like, what, what is the industry missing? Everybody says creature baits, well, what the heck is a creature bait? Like we're sitting there, we're like, we don't know what anybody's talking about. So I had some old drawings and stuff and we started saying, hey, what's around toolies? We've got birds that bass eat, must be eat all the time, maybe ducks, there's dragonflies, there are mayflies, there are nymphs, there's frogs. So we turned around, and right off the bat, I said, I actually have a drawing. Why don't we do a punch bait that actually looks like a bird? So when people get tired of trying to figure out what they're doing, they could, you know, flip them the bird. And, uh, <laughs> and, I hope that's the name of it. <laughs> and they go, and they, this represents something that gives you more confidence. But it actually represents, and those fish are real finicky, and they're looking at a bait closely. They're going to see more detail and go, yeah. okay, that's not a creature bait. That's like a little baby bird. I'm going to eat it. So that was part one. Part two is we're sitting there, and Mike turns the page, and I had an old drawing sitting there. And he goes, dude, look at that. And I go, you know what would be cool? What would happen if we actually had a punch bait frog that actually looked like a frog? There's nothing in the market that has that shape and profile for flipping and pitching. You know? So we're like, oh, that one's done. And then we went into the special bait is we're like, oh, I love dragonfly. So we have this design. Our team came together with the wings. And it's the first, like, heavy cover pitching bait where when you punch that through heavy cover, the wings actually go to corticus. They go within the core of the bait. So now you have a smaller penetration. You don't have to try to push shoulders through. But once it opens up in the water column, the bait comes alive. So now you have action on the drop and then punchers when they bring it up underneath cover it looks like a, a nymph or a dragonfly coming up to get out of the water and that's where most of your strikes come from <clears throat> so we're like how do we film this in water well we got to start drop shotting it and med rigging it so i started throwing off open water and then i started swimming it and go oh my gosh this is the most subtle open water finesse swim bait on the market and We've been catching fish from fresh to salt water. I have already just some test boats. That looks like a mad Tom catfish, though. Yes. I mean, that's really like that's what you remember. And like yep. he's saying, it's very, very versatile in that it can represent many yeah. different things. Right. So mayfly like has saying, a creature. Stonefly. What is a creature in real life? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we, we came out with that, and then Mike actually had a, uh, a kick and cross series, too. So he was working on a double paddle tail crawdad with the skirt, you know, for a slower fall penetration, more detail. Where's your crawdad, Mike? So here's the, wow. the oh my gosh. So detailed, super, super easy, flexible for using anything for flipping to punching and open water. Crazy. So the nature series that we came together is like, we're actually giving anglers now products that represent something Amen. that the fish are actually eating yes, instead of just throwing names out there. So when you always hear the science of the strike, Mike and I laugh. You're getting a guy with 30, 40 years experience, 30, 40 years experience, and go, man, things aren't meshing in the industry. Yes. Let's start making things mesh. And that's where the science of the strike kind of comes. It's not only about the fish and what Great they strategy. eat, but making the baits that represent what they eat yeah. and understanding how they work. We've got a Helger Might and a Mad Tom, and they we talked about this on the Fishing the DMV podcast. You know, fishermen, river fishermen can relate to a Mad Tom. Most people are like, what the heck's a Mad Tom? Or a Helger Might. Right? Yeah. That's what they're throwing. That's what they're using. Like you say, it's it's the insect, you know, yeah. as it emerges, and it's like so we, we can put those two things together to relate to that. It not only does it it, it catches fish because that's naturally the natural right. presentation. That's what they're eating under the water. Right. Big brown trout are going to the smoke right. are fluttering in. You know, yeah. You're you're stone fly, and people don't understand when you're I fly fish for years there too. You when you're in the water and you're kicking over rocks that's and things right. move and they start drifting down or trying to kick. Or shoot water through them like a water bug even the water creates a disturbance which is the wing so i was like this is a dragonfly mike's like no this is a flutter nymph this is multi-functional so when you look at the nymph it, it falls within the mayfly stonefly you know dragonfly yes. all that plus the crazy part is smallmouth and everything else when you swim that across the bottom that's a sculpture Yes, right. Mm -hmm. But be ready for 2023 because Mike and I have some uh -oh. stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You guys got great minds and you're a great team. <laughs> you can tell. It's good stuff. Love it.